and Tara here, but you can call me T-Pow. Today I'm doing something that may or may not be ridiculous. I guess we'll have to find out. <laughs> I am purchasing stuffed replicas of my dogs. <laughs> now there's a ton of websites that you can get this done. Some are more expensive than others. Some of them just give you something that's pretty close to your dog. Some of them actually go as far as to airbrush actual details of your dogs on the fur or whatever, the fake fur, and they look like really lifelike. If you're new around here, I have two dogs, Peppy and Peanut. They are both Pomeranians, but they are polar opposites. <laughs> Not only in the way they look, but the way they act. Peppy is super lovable, super clingy. She has to be wherever I am. She licks my face constantly. She prefers to be indoors and she will eat almost anything. <laughs> Peanut, on the other hand, she prefers Mike over me. She is very, very, very dark brown, almost black, kind of like my hair. We're the brunettes. She's kind of antisocial. She doesn't really like to lick your face. She's not a huge fan of cuddles unless she's alone with you. And she really loves going outside. Now, you can get a replica of any animal, really, um, as long as you have enough pictures of that animal. So this is a great thing for people who have lost a pet because as a pet owner, I know how many pictures I take, so obviously you'd have enough to recreate a pet that was no longer with you, and that's awesome. But I'm choosing to do this while I still have my two dogs because I also want to actually compare this with them in real life. So. This is something I've kind of joked about in the past, like before you could order like literally anything on the internet and have it made custom. Um, I kind of joked about trying to find ones that looked like them, but this is totally different because this is supposed to look exactly like your pet, so they claim. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I already chose a website and I already looked at like some of what the process entails because I wanted to be prepared for the video. Right off the bat, I know that these won't arrive for eight to 10 weeks. So it is currently February 27th, so we're gonna sit back, relax, I have some nine pin, and let's order a stuffed version of my dogs. Now the website I'm choosing to use is called Budsies. But to get there, I was kind of referred through something called Petsies. And Petsies apparently is, according to their website, a sister brand where you can create your own plush lookalike of your pet. We can create a custom stuffed animal of any pet you can think of from dogs and cats to horses and rats. So you can dig up enough footage of Pizza Rat, you can get a replica of that. I've already looked at the pricing. I also think it's ridiculous, but I'm usually not that frivolous with um, anything. <laughs> but the one thing like I can't help but splurge on is like dog things. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go through the process twice because I have two dogs. All right, let's do this thing. As I've been sitting here, these little pop-ups keep popping up that someone bought one of these, so they must make bank. <laughs> so it says that it's realistic, detailed, 100% custom made, perfect for any pet, they do a lot of different animals, um, and it says 100% quality guarantee, and yes, it's expensive. But they do offer <laughs> industry financing for a stuffed animal. I'm aware, it's kind of ridiculous. But it's not like I go around buying crazy stuff all the time. This is something I would keep my entire life. My dogs are very special to me, as is anyone's pet would be, you know, I can have this forever. I can't have them forever. And I think they'll get a kick out of it too. I don't know how Peppy will feel having like a clone of her in the house. Like she might be a little threatened or like jealous in some way. Pina, I think, will just be like confused, but also like all about it. I don't know. Alright, so the first thing is we have to choose our type of pet. So obviously, 
we're going to go with dog. So the first thing you get to do is upload your photos. So I had to spend some time picking out some photos. If you don't include a picture of a certain detail of your pet, they won't include it. So like obviously they're not seeing your pet in real life, so you have to provide them with good enough photos to get the parts of your pet that you want replicated. So if you want like a really detailed face, you need to give them a detailed photo of the face. So I'm going to start with Peppy because she just is easier to photograph because she's black and white and she just shows up better in pictures. <laughs> Something I'm super curious about is a lot of the pictures I see are of dogs that aren't like super long haired like my dogs are. So I hope that they're going to make those stuffed animals long haired, especially for the price I'm paying. Like, they should have the same type of fur. Okay, so one thing I did in advance was actually choose the photos. I didn't want like the camera battery to pressure me into like choosing bad photos and I really want this to come out well. So I have already chosen the photos, but let's talk about why I chose them. Okay, so this one I chose first because it's the most straight on I have of her face where she's like happy looking and that's how I feel she looks most of the time. I also felt you got a really good look at her face markings, the black around the eyes and the little beauty spots. So that's a definite. What it actually says to do is to include three photos from different angles and it says please try to show your pet's special markings. Now if you were doing this on your phone and like you couldn't find the pictures you wanted, you do have the option to send it to them later. I think you have about three days to do so. I chose this picture next because it's like a profile view of how far into her body the black marking does go. It goes pretty far down and you can kind of see her beauty spots but I think I have a better picture that shows them. I hope they have a part where you can like make a note about like the things you really care about because I will let them know about the beauty spots. <laughs> Here's another side where you get the whole body and her black spot. I also took this picture in preparation for this so you can really see where the black spot is and what she looks like from the side when she's not posing. <laughs> um, a lot of these pictures are taken directly from her Instagram, at Peppy Bombshells. Oh, this one I'm including because it's like the top of her head. So I want them to see like there's a separation between the black and it continues all the way down to her neck. And in this one, you can also see her tail, how it curls up. Okay, so this must have been as far as I got initially looking into this because this is where I saw that the turnaround time was 8 to 10 weeks and that you had to have at least three photos. So the rest of this I haven't seen yet. Let's continue. Okay, so your pet's name. Peppy, your pet's breed. Pomeranian. I'm glad they autocorrect because I often spell that wrong. Okay, so size. You can have standard 16 inches or miniature 10. I would say in reality she's probably pretty close to 16 inches, so we'll go with standard. Posture, standing, sitting, laying. Well, let's be honest. <laughs> How does she spend most of her time anyway? Laying. <laughs> um, mouth shape, mouth closed, closed with tongue, open with tongue. Oh, this is a tough decision. I mean, honestly, you gotta have the tongue. This is Peppy. All she does is lick. Ear shape, up for sure. Tail, up. Always. Eye color. Um, I would say dark brown. Fur color palette. White, black. Little gray, maybe? Mostly white and black, though. Final options. How many Petsies of this exact same design? Definitely one. <laughs> Describe your pet's physical features. Okay, good. I'm glad this is an option. I wish I could see like another dog with the tongue out because like now I'm kind of questioning that decision. Um, I think they might have a YouTube page. <laughs> Let's find out. That's closed mouth, tongue out for sure. That's closed mouth. I can't find one with like the tongue. Now I'm questioning the tongue out. Does no one get that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so I'm intrigued by this one because it's very close to Peppy, except it's not as fluffy. 
This is showing like how they airbrush, I guess. Mm, I don't know how I feel about the tongue out. This one looks a lot like Peppy. Oh, oh my God, look at the angle. Oh my God, that's how Peppy looks. Yes, that's how you look. She's right down there. <laughs> so this alone has confirmed I need the tongue out for Peppy because that is like the, the expression I want. Oh, and they're doing little spots on the legs. That's exactly what I want. Okay, I feel much better about this. I don't feel like it's gonna be thrown together. Like, this one looks really detailed. Oh, wow. When you skip forward to the end, like, look at how detailed that is. That's pretty crazy. Do they show, like, the real dog? Oh my god, they do. Wait a second. Did they sew the ears down? Oh my god, they even sewed the ears down. Well, I guess that was an option. But it was like, you know, they painted them and then sewed them down. That's crazy. They apprentice for three to four months. Wow. They're not messing around. I'm starting to feel a lot more confident about this. <laughs> Ooh, an unboxing. Hope the Doxy. What's a Doxy? I can't watch these. I'm gonna get emotional. I don't want to watch these. I don't want to watch people opening them. <laughs> it's, too, it's too hard. I don't want to cry. Felix the cat meets his look-alike. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it destroys it. <laughs> This one kind of looks like Peppy too. This was their commercial. Really? Like I didn't know which one is the real dog. They're good, they're not that good. Oh my god. <laughs> but it is sitting suspiciously still. Oh my god! Your real dog's there, why don't you sit with him? <laughs> what are you trying to make him jealous? Wait, are there more commercials? Whoa, that one's like super detailed. What, wait, what is she doing with it? What is she making it like fight with it? <laughs> oh my god, wait, was that an actual cat or like a stuffed one? Because I was fooled by that. Like that looks like a real cat. I thought it was. <laughs> Again, I know which one is the real dog. I know you think you're that good, but you're not fooling us that much. <laughs> I know! <laughs> Who wouldn't know which was which? Like, calm down. Let's look at the horse. <laughs> Aww. See, I don't know, like, I get a little confused because I don't want to make fun of it if, like, the pet is dead, but why is it okay to make fun of it if the pet's alive? I don't know. Or, I want to watch one where the dog is just terrified of it. Oh, a, a pig. Yeah, show the pig the picture. <laughs> it's wearing a tutu <laughs> and a box. What? That's so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Me when I get dressed up. Alright, that's enough of that. I'm convinced. Let's do it. So now they have a few additional options. You can have a sneak peek plus a 100% satisfaction guarantee. But here's the thing, don't they already have a 100% satisfaction guarantee? Why do I have to pay more for that? They have a memory pocket. You can put, oh, I don't need that. And that's just some cheesy sign. We don't need that. Honestly, because Peppy is like kind of complicated, she might actually benefit from this sneak peek thing. Cause I do like, really want that to be accurate whereas peanut is just a solid color and like has some face things i'd want them to get right but like she's much easier she really does look like a traditional pomeranian whereas peppy looks like a more unique pomeranian so if i'm already going to be spending this much money i might as well do some feedback and then you know if anyone else is looking into this at least i can speak to like what that process is like so maybe i'll do someone else a favor by doing this I agree to terms of service privacy policy and refund policy. I understand that Petsy's happily takes care of all tears, defects, and shipping damage with either a refund or a repair. I also understand that my custom Petsy's order is backed by the Petsy's guarantee. 
which is because down here it says 100% guarantee so what is the guarantee if you have to pay extra this is covered tears rips holds sewing mistakes damage caused while in transit our failure to follow your selected customizations in the creation wizard markings you specified in the description that we failed to include airbrush coloring oh you can approve the plush and or send it back with your changes all right i'm gonna do it add to cart <laughs> accessories oh my god no 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 that's weird i don't need all that save and make another petsies well don't mind if i do we're gonna do another dog Okay, so I've also pre-selected six photos of Peanut, which I don't even feel like she needs that many, um, but let's talk about them. This is basically what I want her to look like. This right here. That's what I want her to look like. And then this one is like a full body shot, but like her eyes are closed. This one is just another like indication of her fluffiness. This one is more of like a front view of her, like more. This one is like her version of the glamour shot, which Peppy has her version, this is Peanut's version. This to me is the best lighting of her face, so you can see her gray chin, and that's why I wanted to include it. Also, the glamour shot lets them know I mean business. And this is like a side view of her. I know she's a little bit wet, but like that's what her body looks like. Okay, same thing, pet's name, Peanut. Um, so we're gonna again go with standard but I would like her to be sitting because that's like what she does <laughs> she always just sits there and stares at you like she is in most of those pictures for her definitely mouth closed there ain't no tongue action with her also ears up the tail is definitely up for the eyes I'm gonna go with dark brown again and then I'm going to choose dark brown for her fur because in my opinion, when you put the two of them next to each other, she really doesn't look black. She really is like a dark, dark, dark brown. Of course, now that I know I can say that, I'm going to say that. Peanut is very fluffy. Really her only distinct feature is that little gray mouth. And I am going to note, because I want them to be aware, like I have two dogs, I know they know there's two dogs in this order, but I don't know if they like actually look at it. I am not going to do the sneak peek for Peanut because I'm going to trust that they can replicate her. She looks like many Pomeranians do, so <laughs> I don't want to say like she's not as unique. She's unique in other ways, like her personality, but in her features, like she doesn't really have a lot that's complicated. Just her little gray mouth and her fur color, and that's what I mentioned. So I'm going to trust that they can handle her. Adding to cart, I'm not getting any accessories. I'm going to go to my shopping cart, see the damages. Oh, so apparently shipping is not included, which is insane to me because I'm already spending so much on this thing, but I'm not going to stop now. $12.95 for the first, $5.95 for each additional Petsy. That's $19 on top of this but so obviously I'm gonna put in my payment information off camera and the next time you see me it'll be in eight to ten weeks it looks like the sooner I get back to them about Peppy like the sooner they'll be done with it and then peanut might come like separately but I doubt it so I will see you in two to two and a half months so I know I said I would see you in like two months but it turns out I got a question from Petsy's today it's about 10 days after I made my order. The question was about Peanut's fur. So they sent a picture of a few different fur swatches and just basically had me like pick the one I wanted. Unfortunately, I didn't see one that was just dark, dark brown. There was one that was like black and one that's very light brown. I kind of explained to them that it's neither of those and it's really just a dark brown. So we'll see what happens. If she were to be that dark, it's not like the end of the world because everyone seems to think that she just has black fur, but even in the picture, like maybe I'm biased, but the picture they included as part of the email, she literally looks dark brown. Like she looks like my hair, which is not black. 
like if you put me next to a person with black hair you're gonna be like oh yeah she has brown hair even my license says that I have brown hair so I don't know and now that I'm looking at my Gmail again I realized I actually had another question about the sizing so they wanted to confirm that I actually wanted the standard slash 16 inch version of the dogs because they feel like the dogs are smaller and the it's funny because the picture they included is like you can't tell her size at all like she could be giant or she could be small so I don't know but I just like confirmed that I do want the 16 inch size and all was good. It was very easy. There's a link in each email to respond to the question directly on their website. You don't have to put in any like email or anything. So I feel like the questions just show that they're not just throwing this thing together. They're actually trying to make it look the way you want it to. I thought I would send the order and get the things in two months and that would be it. But it turns out they're involving me in the process, which I like. Hello again, I got another question from Petsy's, still in regards to Peanut's fur color. Um, I basically responded and said, like, I want dark brown. And they responded and said, we don't have dark brown. So it's kind of weird since when I was choosing, one of the specific options that you could choose is dark brown. But they're telling me they don't have dark brown. So basically my response was, I guess, you know, we'll have to go with that darker black, basically, but I did express my concerns that it won't look like her, and I included a photo where the two dogs are together, and you can clearly see that Peanut is not black, because if you compare her fur to Peppy's black fur on her face, you'll clearly see that she is brown. So I'm hoping that will show them that she's not black. Hello, it's me again. Um, excuse my hair because I was about to go to sleep and I checked my email and I got an email from Petsy's that my design has been approved. It says that their lead designer just reviewed and approved my picture for petsification. Petsification. And they transferred the photo into the special Petsy's plush coating machine. And it also says that the next thing that will happen is two other designers will work on picking fabrics and crafting the shape of each individual piece of plush that goes into your design. So I guess this thing is underway. It's been about three weeks, not even a month since I ordered it. So I'm thinking I could get this thing by my birthday. Okay, so I finally got my sneak peek of the Peppy Petsy. And I don't wanna show you cause like you're literally about to see it, but um, basically what the sneak peek is, is you get four pictures of like a front view, side view, side view, and back view. And you can either reject and make a change or you can accept. I am very happy with it, so I'm going to accept, but I wish a little bit that I had a problem so that I could like tell you what that process is like, but I don't want to like just do it for the video. I'm really happy with what it looks like. So speaking of Peppy, um, they do say like don't pay too much attention to the eyes because they have plastic on them, which I'm glad they said that because I would have been like, what's with the eyes? But I can't wait to see it in person. All right. <laughs> so we're all here. We're ready to finally open the Petsies. First, let's get a look at the real things. Yeah. Peppy, look at the camera. Hey. She's gonna quit. <laughs> I thought she was supposed to be laying down. No, she's sitting because this is how she stares at us. Yeah. What do you think? That's a peanut. Oh my god. It... Look at the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, nut butt. Oh, the path. Oh, the furry path. <laughs> Not the path. Look at that. She's like, I hate this. She's like, um, what is this? <laughs> She's like, help, help. Like, it's hard to tell that that's not Peanut right now. Yeah, from far I can... away. This is them, like, when you have food. Like, this is Peppy sitting next to you and Peanut with the food. Like, this is when I have yogurt. This is what they do. 
I think the paws are too short or something. Not too short. I think I think you're right when they were shoved in the box. Yeah, like, yeah, like it, got, it got out of. It has to resituate. Yeah, just leave them out for a little while. It should be fun. All right. So overall, I'm super happy with the way the Peppy Petsy turned out. She has all of the features I wanted, including her beauty spots. I feel like they really knocked her out of the park and I have absolutely no complaints. It literally is her twin. The peanut one, although the expression is a little goofy to me and Mike, um, I still think it looks a lot like her. I am not too surprised about the fur color. I do wish it was more of a dark brown because she is technically dark brown, but what are you gonna do? When I put them together, it's so entertaining to me because they don't like hate each other, but they're not fans of each other, so usually they're not around each other. So it's fun to be able to stick them next to each other and in this case on top of each other <laughs> and just fool around with them because you would never see them do this in real life. And look, I can make it look like they really like each other. It's awesome. As far as the dogs liking their own Petsies, so Peppy is totally cool with her Petsy. At first she didn't like it, she expressed to me that she felt like I was trying to replace her, but after I explained, um, she was pretty cool with it and she continues to be cool with it. Peanut started out straight up afraid of the Petsies, both of them. She continues to be pretty afraid of them. If we whip them out quick, she'll run away. With the help of some treats, I was able to get this footage of her next to her Petsy. And with even more treats, I got all of the dogs, fake and real, together for the first time ever. And the effect is pretty satisfying. So at the very least, this was super entertaining for me. I'm in my pajamas, but I thought they would be appropriate. Okay, so all jokes aside, I wanted to end the video with some of my final thoughts on Petsies. As far as the ordering process and everything that led up to actually receiving the Petsies, I have no complaints. I actually am pretty impressed with how much they kept in touch and how many updates I got along the way because oftentimes you order something custom and you just trust the internet that it will arrive at some point and you're almost like, will I get a notification? Will it just show up in the mail? So I appreciate that they kept me in the loop and not just about Peppy, which I technically paid extra for, they also kept me in the loop about Peanut. Obviously, I did not see any sneak peek photos of Peanut because I didn't pay extra for that, but I still felt like I got enough information throughout that I wasn't worried or concerned. Now, was it worth it? Yes, these were expensive. And like I said in the beginning of the video, Obviously, you can't keep your pets forever, but this is something that comes pretty close that you can keep forever, and it's not just a stuffed animal you'd find in a store, it's something that really is supposed to look like your pet. So if you ask me was it worth it, I have to say yes and no. For the Peppy Petsy, I say 100% it was worth it, even the sneak peek because she has so many little details. Her beauty spots, her other, her butt spot, her side spot, the coloring of her face. This is very detailed. This is pretty much peppy in her mid ages, like seven, eight years old. This is what she looked like most of my life with her. So this is something I can look at. It can sit on the chair and it's from far away, it's peppy. So was this worth it? Yes, 100%. My little issues come when you start to talk about the Peanut Petsy. Now, does this look like Peanut? I would say we're 90% there. My only disappointment is that she is not this color. She is not black. She is dark, dark brown. In the same way my hair is not black. It is dark, dark brown. Sometimes in certain lighting, you can mistake my hair for being black and people have done so. And people have also done that with Peanut. But once you see her in real life or in the sun, you can see that she is not black. It's 
a little frustrating because I did include pictures of the two dogs together to even further portray that because they clearly, like I used the word black, I chose the color black when I was picking the Peppy Petsy, but I did not choose the color black when I was choosing the Peanut Pep. It's a little frustrating because I feel like I portrayed greatly in my order that she is not pure black, and they even followed up and I said again that she is not pure black, but they only gave me a shade range, so to speak, that went from like a dark tan to black. It was like Tarte Shape Tape foundation, like all over it. <laughs> but like, I guess after that email where I had to say like, she's dark brown, I should have expected that she would not be dark brown since they did not show me that fur color. But I wonder like, do they not get any chocolate labs? Do they not get a really dark brown horse every now and then? I just find it hard to believe for a company that claims they can make literally any pet, any animal, that they don't have any like dark browns. It's kind of difficult for me to say like this one was worth it because for the price, I would expect that you would have that color. I mean, even think of yourself as a kindergartner and you have your little box of Crayola crayons and you go to draw a dog for the first time, what are you picking? The brown. So I feel like that could have been better. I feel like we could have done better on the color. If it wasn't as expensive, I wouldn't be as disappointed. But as a price of something gets higher, your expectation level also gets higher. So if I was paying 20 bucks, you know, I would be super impressed with this. But because I paid $200, like, I'm less impressed. Am I gonna be happy with this and cherish it? Of course. But, and what could I do? I know I could have contacted Petsy's, but if they don't have the color, they don't have the color, you know? They made that pretty clear. I guess at that point I could have just canceled it, but I was too deep in it and it would feel unfair to have one just of Peppy and not of Peanut. So I guess my advice would be if you have a pet like Peppy that has a lot of distinct markings and people would say is unusual for the breed, then I say Petsies will do their best to make a stuffed animal that looks just like your pet. I'm confident if I searched the internet long enough I could find a stuffed black Pomeranian that looked enough like Peanut for a small fraction of the price. So if I just had Peanut, I'd be like, this was kind of a waste. But because I have Peppy and Peanut, I'm glad that I went with the same brand because I'll have consistency in the fur and the size and the feel and like the squishiness is the same and I know they're going to last, or at least I hope they are for the price. And I know that some care went into making them. I mean, obviously through this research I did, I've been following Petsy's pretty closely on social media, and it's pretty clear that they do genuinely care about people and their pets. And you know, it's a company that does have to deal with grieving pet owners on a regular basis so I give them a lot of credit for what they do because they probably have a lot of customers who are in a vulnerable place emotionally it really seems like they want to do their best to make people happy and really do their pet justice it doesn't seem like they're just out to make money and I should mention, I also got a follow-up email after I received the Petsies, basically with a little like custom video, like thanking me and saying that I hope I enjoyed it. And that was pretty cool too. So I don't wanna get too hung up on the fur color, but in case you are watching this because you're thinking of buying a Petsy, just be aware that if you have a pet that, you know, isn't super, super unique, if you have your typical golden retriever that 
like there's a million golden retriever stuffed animals like I'm sure you could find one for 20 bucks that like looks like yours um, you may not want to go this route because you could just be throwing money at something that you could find much cheaper but if you do have a pet that you have never seen a stuffed version it's something like a pet bee where it's an interesting color scheme or has interesting markings then I would say like look into it but do your research make sure you read um, about their policy and what the 100% guarantee actually covers and make sure you look for any emails that they send you because it's clear they're really trying to make sure that you get what you want but they can't do that if you don't tell them and my ultimate advice would be be as descriptive as possible in the little box they give you because that's where you can really tell them what you want. Remember, they will never see your pet in person. So if there's something you want them to include, you have to tell them. They're not mind readers. They can only see so much in a photograph. So I wanted beauty spots. I got beauty spots. You know, you got to tell them. Would I do it for another pet in the future? I honestly think I would, especially if it were a unique pet. I know in the future, you know, you don't want to talk about what's happening, like, while you still have current pets, but it's been Mike's dream to own a Shiba Inu. So I'm sure at some point in the near future, we'll have a Shiba Inu to send off to Petsies and we'll see how that goes. They all pretty much look the same, they're just different colors, but, but maybe ours will have a special mark. All I'm really saying is, if I were to show you these, and I had you pick which one looked more expensive, you'd probably pick this one. If I told you they were the same price, you might be surprised, and that's all I'm saying. Again, I know that it's not Petsy's fault. This is what my dog looks like, minus the fur color. But since she was so simple, you'd think that the fur color would be a huge priority. She's just one color with a gray mouth. That's what they did. The color is not exactly what I want, but this is what she looks like, so I get it. So I think now that's it for us. All three of us will end the video together. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peanut! <laughs> Good girl! You hear the treat? Yes! Oh, good girls! Wow! Good girls!